This is Tommy Watt for TTT Boxing. I'm here joined by former world champion Anthony the Man Mundine at the DD Port, DDT Sports event here in Brisbane. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm doing good, my man. Doing just good. just uh, obviously had a, a big chat on stage. Jeff Horn was mentioned. Um, so just jumping straight into that. Uh, I know he's obviously scheduled to face Terence Crawford, but that's a fight that you'd very much like by the sounds of it. Oh, man, I'm keen as mustard for that fight. I think that, you know, it'll be probably the biggest fight in Australian history. Probably do our green Monday in green one. I think you know that's the biggest fight that you know that can catapult the sport again. You know, doesn't matter who wins. Yeah, I think uh, you're obviously no stranger to those big domestic dust-ups, and we've seen it. Yeah, the Australian public does like to see an all-Australian all clash when we can, yeah, especially when a world title is involved. What um, you had a few words to say as well about the situation with Top Rank and, and Jeff's situation right now. What, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on the way that's all going on right now? I just think it's, you know, it's pretty much unprofessional, in my opinion. It's a bit, a bit unprofessional. I think, um, you know, in order, you know, in order for the for them to do, do right by Jeff, they should, um, should have the fight when, when it was announced. And, you know, when it went through with Corbin, I, I don't know. The uh, the hand, I don't know about the hand. You know, I think it's a be. Yeah, a bit questionable, and so obviously with the, the dates, the way they're set, you know, Jeff would not be able to have that on main event, which obviously you know, cut yeah, a lot of his losses here in, in major, Australia. Yeah, cuts a uh, major loss, a uh, major loss. I mean, like I said, I've got all the respect for Jeff, and he's done well, you know, it's like the Cinderella story, he's come from nowhere and beat Pacquiao, and, um, you know, now he's take, one takes on one of the best pound for pound, and um, I think he'll do well. But I think he might get beat, but I think he'll do well. Yeah, absolutely. So he's always equipped himself well from from what we've seen in, in all of his fights. And if uh, say if that fight wasn't to happen for yourself and Jeff, what uh, what else is is on the horizon? Obviously coming off the back of that KO win over Tommy Brown, so yeah, looking well, for a big fight. Yeah, I'm looking for a big fight. I just want to fight the best. Go out fighting the best. Now I've got a good hip. I'm, I feel fit. Um, I, feel, I feel best I've ever felt for in a long time. You know what I mean? And that's that's um, it gives me confidence. And um, I'm staying on my grind daily. I'm gonna start sparring next week and just, you know, stay with it because you know, I want to stay ready. And so elsewhere, so around your weight, there's been some recent controversy around uh, Canelo and his recent drug test. Have you any opinion on that and um, what's going on there and the way that's all been handled? Uh, well, I'm not sure what the drug was, but it's uh, obviously a uh, weight loss drug, uh, drug or something. I mean, it wasn't enhancing really; it was just enhancing his weight loss. So I don't get much on that. I mean, you know, I think he's going to get punished for it. That's probably why he pulled out of the fight. You know, on 18th of uh, April when they go to Vegas commission. But um, you know, they, they don't tolerate that stuff. So I mean, you just got to be clean, clean, make sure you're clean the whole time. Absolutely. And, uh, so, there is there any big names out there that you'd particularly like to, to see yourself in the ring with? If you had, if you had your um, opportunity to fight anybody, anyone. Man. Anybody, I just want to try and go out fighting the best, you know what I mean? And another world title on the horizon, maybe? Maybe, I just want to go out fighting the best. If they're, if they're champions or not, they've got a good name and solid solid history, then I'll fight anybody. Excellent, that's all we like to see. I'm sure everyone would like to see you back in the ring very soon, mate. We'll come and catch up with you in the gym once you're back in sparring, and uh, wish you all the best until then. Thanks, my Cheers, Anthony.